Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the newest version of CMU Android finally after a long time because it has gotten massive performance improvements you can literally expect up to double or triple the game's performance than what you used to get previously along with that very important features which actually make an emulator and emulator have been finally implemented this is the version that I'm talking about right here in today's video we'll be setting up the CMU Android I like to call it version 3.0 along with its best setting and gameplay. When I actually tried out this update of CMU Android, I was blown away by the amount of features that have been added now. I can literally call it a proper VU emulator for Android devices now. So let's get started. If we open settings, you'll be able to see a brand new option to open CMU folder has been provided. And this has been provided so that you can import the necessary things to start using the CMU Android. It is very useful feature. And if you go to overlay, you'll be able to see that you can choose the overlay position as well if you want the overlay like FPS bar etc to show in the top left corner and so on you can increase or decrease the overlay text scale you can also enable cpu usage ram usage notification for controller profile shader compiler friend list etc all the necessary things are now present and if we go to audio settings there is nothing new here in terms of graphics settings a synchronous shader compiler has been enabled along with accurate barriers vsync has been turned off now one of the most useful feature has to be this right here full screen scaling Make sure to set it to stretch because previously if you have tried out CMU on your Android devices you might remember you only get 16 to 9 aspect ratio which made the gameplay experience a bit boring whereas now you can get the full screen stretch aspect ratio which is way more useful. Upscale filters have also been added for example by linear, by cubic etc. Downscale filters as well but we'll keep them as default. Now let's go to input settings and here in terms of controller 1 we'll set it to VU gamepad and in terms of input overlay. Uh, it has been enabled so that we can get on screen touch controls. I am also hearing that controller support is also present inside this simulator. So we'll need to test it out. Let me just go ahead and restart my CMU and as you guys can see all of my games are being showcased right here. Now we can finally enter graphic packs and customize the game that we'll be trying out in today's video which is going to be need for speed most wanted. So let's go to the graphics section and here we'll enable resolution mode and decrease the resolution so that we can get better performance. For example you can set it to 144p <laughs> but I think that's too overkill. Uh, we'll go with 854 by 480 resolution a similar resolution to what we use on windows emulators for android in terms of workaround we have bloom fix so we'll just go ahead and turn this on and yeah guys that was the entire setup and settings of cmu android version 3.0 now we can simply start testing out any game and see how well does it actually work our game is successfully starting at the left corner we have gotten all the statistics such as fps cpu and ram usage now for some reason I think this is because we are using tweaks. The game aspect ratio is still not stretched, completely stretched like we want to. So let me just go ahead and exit this. Afterwards we'll reopen CMU Android, go to graphics pack and make sure to turn off our resolution graphics pack. Now let's try out NFS most wanted once again and see if it opens in stretch full screen mode or not. Okay it opened but still in the similar aspect ratio like before but I think this is actually 18 to 9 aspect ratio not the 16 to 9 aspect ratio because you can see the borders are very small at each corner. Now my device has a 21 is to 9 aspect ratio so I can tell this is 18 is to 9 aspect ratio. It's definitely better but still not the best aspect ratio. Nonetheless I have went back and enabled the tweaks which I started and let me just go ahead and show you guys the graphic texture has actually decreased. Uh, the resolution which we are using is very low so that we get best amount of FPS possible. Now NFS most wanted is very high graphics game and it also works on the CMU Android port. So let this cutscene be over and I'll be back once the game actually starts. So here we go guys the game is about to start as you guys can see the shaders are being compiled and our game has successfully started. My first impressions are that there are many graphical issues as you'll be able to see but it might also be because of the tweak that I have enabled. FPS is pretty amazing like previously I have tried this game out in the older versions of CMU Android I was getting only 5 to 10 FPS whereas now you guys will be able to see at the top left corner we are literally getting almost 20 to 30 FPS stable with graphical issues but performance is what matters the most. It literally means that you can now play games like the amazing Spider-Man 2 on Wii U with great FPS and I'll be uploading a gameplay video pretty soon on it. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation videos. And do let me know in the comment section down below which more games should I test out next because this is a really huge improvement in terms of frame rate. Till then I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.